All right, everybody. Well, welcome back to Jim Bob's Garden. Um, this morning, what we're going to do is a walk around. Uh, it's at the end of May. I believe it's the uh, 28th. Um, I planned to do this earlier, but every time I try and do it, my phone gets so hot that it uh, kind of shuts down. So with that being said, let's uh, take a look at what we got going on. All right, so we're going to start with our herb garden. Um, herb garden is looking pretty good. Well, we got a lot of mint growing, some stevia. As you can see, the uh, cilantro is kind of dried up and gone away. Um, we got some good coriander seed on it, though. Got blueberries. Blueberries didn't do very well this year. I think they didn't have enough moisture, perhaps. Not really sure. Got the bushes, they're doing well. And so I got my rosemary back in the back, some aloe growing. Otherwise, everything's doing okay. Over here is kind of like my little trial plot. We got our milkweed and our um, bee balm right there, which is flowering out. A little baby, baby loquat tree there. And then, of course, uh, our raspberry plants are doing quite well. They seem to like it so far. There's the other one. And lots of marigolds coming up. Keep the aphids off of the, uh, off of the milkweed. And I got a whole bunch of amaranth trying to grow there. Seems to be doing okay so far. I got to put that in the garden. Mama's roses, which are doing quite well. Got a few blooms coming here and there. It has been dry and hot. I haven't hardly gotten any rain. Okay, over here, I got my pigeon peas, which I grew from seed, which I'm fixing to put out. And a few other little experiments. This is kind of cool. This is my mulberries. I knocked down a mulberry bush, cutting down some limbs. And man, I stuck them in a pot, and they have gone crazy. Just basically stuck them in a pot and put some water on them. My other little strawberry patch here. And of course, my uh, my uh, peppers going. Going real good. Longevity spinach, Suriname spinach. Going crazy. And then my Barbados cherry. A little bit of uh, lemongrass there. Pineapples are doing okay. I have yet to see any flowering, but they're still alive, still making leaves. And of course, out here, I have got my uh, orange tree. Orange tree had some oranges on it, but then they kind of like died up, uh, died back, and fell off. So, all right. So on the inside garden, well, my container garden. Basically, I've got some. Uh, a little bit of stevia growing here. I've got, these are just some succulents that we had. Got some more stevia in water. I'm trying to see if I can sprout out some uh, some of these right here. These are two different fig trees that I cut chunks off of. Back here I got some Swiss chard and some garlic. It was a couple of cloves that had started to sprout. So I decided to go ahead and put them in some dirt, see what happens in a pot. My little baby strawberries are doing well. That was the K-Cup experiment. My spinach garden is taken off. We've harvested a ton of spinach out of it. And then various and sundry other little projects, my avocado trees, tomato plants in here. And of course, uh, down here I've got some arugula, which I have never tried. So I'm fixing to see what's happening there. And of course, another one of my uh, pomegranate trees. Let's go out to the garden proper. Oh, and back over here, I have my little terrarium down there, which doubles as a coffee table when I'm out in the pool. And another tomato plant, which has got a good size, a couple good sized tomatoes on it. And let's go out here, see what we got out here. I did do something a little different this year. I took some extra dirt I had and some pots and some extra plants, and I planted tomatoes. Um, in pots and put them in my trees. Seem to be doing pretty good so far. I've got a few young tomatoes that are growing up. You can see them right there. They're the cherry tomatoes for the most part. Just extra plants I had and mama hates it when I waste plants. Um, these blueberry bushes back here, 
did absolutely nothing this year. I mean, they're growing, but not a single blueberry on these. Um, once again, I've tried basically taking bricks and tied down my branches. This is an apple tree. This is a Golden Delicious. No, I'm sorry. This is a uh, an app. I'm sorry, it's an an app. Um, basically, to get it to spread a bit because it was going pretty much straight up. And over here, I got another pigeon pea, little tiny basil plant down there. Lots some more blueberries. This is a baby blueberry. One of the ones that I got from cuttings. It's doing okay. And this is my little kale experiment. I just basically, when I harvested the kale, I cut off a chunk of the stem, stuffed it in the ground, and it's growing. Over in this plot, um, I did the same thing with the blueberries back in the back. Of course, another pigeon pea. I've got them all over the place. On this one, I just started planting stuff. Like, I planted some cucumbers in here, which have actually produced a few little small cucumbers. Some strawberries. Of course, that's my olive tree there, another pigeon pea, and I planted some um, tomatoes. So far, the tomatoes seem to be doing okay, though they're a little behind the plants that are in the regular garden. I got a little bit of cilantro, some mustard around my other apple tree, which, as you can see, I've also taken some of the branches and weighted them down so they'll spread out a little further. And I planted some garlic. So I planted all kinds of different stuff. There's even miniature pepper plants. Now these pepper plants are part of my experiment with the toilet paper rolls. I don't know if that's why they're kind of stunted. But they have not really grown well. Um, and then back in this little trough here, I planted onions and none of the onions made it. They all died. I've been checking the dirt. It seems like the dirt is moist underneath, but I'm not sure exactly why onions did not like being in the wood chips. Back here I have my pea tree, I mean, I'm sorry, my uh, tea uh, bush, basically. All right, and it's growing seeds. You see the little seed pods here? So hopefully I'll be getting some more and I'll be able to propagate those. That's apparently the best way to go about um, a tree plant is to go ahead and uh, use the seeds. Another cucumber plant over here. As you can see, I got some cucumbers coming in, some little baby ones. Pretty sure that's a pickling cucumber, so I really don't want them to get too big anyway. I'll probably be harvesting that one soon. A Malabar spinach, which I had a huge tree, and it died back with the freeze, and now it's uh, re-sprouting back out, which is kind of cool. Another tomato plant. Got a few tomatoes coming on, which is great because last year I had no tomatoes. My new uh, peach tree that I put over here. Another mustard plant. Over on this side, this is the original <clears throat> apple tree guild, which I've added a tomato plant a little, and a um, tomatillo plant a little further away. Got a cucumber growing next to it, and my chives. Got some comfrey back there. Got a mustard right there. That's another basil, some dill. But this tree has not done well. But I'm pretty sure I know why I planted it too deep when I planted it. So I'm probably going to have to replace that tree. Don't think it has anything to do with the Apple Tree Guild. Uh, I think it has everything to do with my lack of skill when it comes to tree planting. All right, here I've got uh, some more cucumbers, which I've gotten several cucumbers off of. Matter of fact, there's another one right down there. That's needing to be picked here very soon. And then, of course, my lemon tree. And my buddy the owl, which hopefully keeps all the pests away. Um, lemon tree, again, hasn't done fantastic, but it is growing a lot of new growth, and I do have four or five new lemons on it. So we'll see as it gets bigger. Hopefully, I'll get some more harvest out of that. Over here, I've got this is what is intended to be my pumpkin patch, but my pumpkins are being very slow about growing, which is okay because, you know, I figure summertime is when they really grow. Cucumber there, it's got a couple cucumbers on it. And then of course my uh, collards, which are doing well. I got one that looks like it's bolting there in the middle. I'm gonna try and get some seed off of that. My fig tree, there's another tomato plant. Another tomato plant there, it's got some tomatoes on it. And this is the, um, oh, which one is this? 
this Shia fig, which I just recently bought, and I'm trying to make some new um, trees off of that as well. And this is the brown turkey fig over here, the one I uh, transplanted, and it's doing great. I've got more foliage on this than I had on, on it for like the year I had it before. So it's doing quite well. My um, squash patch, which is done great, got a ton of squashes already. Um, the um, these down here are actually those are actually the spaghetti squash, which is just starting to turn yellow. So I should be getting those. Pretty sure I planted these at the wrong time of the year, but I got some you know, regular yellow squash down there that are getting huge and, you know, some more spaghetti squash. Over on this side, that's my watermelons, which if you look, you can see I got a little tiny watermelon growing there and a couple others. And then some more tomatillos, which i um, just starting to get a little bit of, of meat in there. So hopefully they'll grow real good this year. My chard and some cucumbers over here. Not sure what's going on with that, but we'll get back to it. All right, so this is my more traditional garden. Like I said, this is uh, the 100 square foot garden. Got some radishes coming in. Some didn't come back up, maybe because of the heat. I've replanted some uh, um, carrots up in here. Get another crop of carrots coming in. Um, got my onions, again, I don't know what's going on with onions but those onions are dying back too just didn't seem to do well I may have to plant them earlier or later I'm gonna have to look more into that and this is my um, beans those are the uh, pinto beans over here my moringa tree it's very interesting I thought it had completely died back but uh, uh, actually it had a stick coming up and I knocked the stick off and Lo and behold, I got a new uh, Moringa sprout coming up, so that's kind of cool. Hopefully it'll develop into more of a tree this year, and then we'll try and do a little better with the frost and all. That's a little bit of longevity spinach. This one here, I just took a stem, stuffed it in the ground, and it's growing, doing very well. Back over here, this is my um, um, melon patch. Got a little bit of melon growing there. My potatoes, this is a tiny potato plant that's growing up off of potato peelings. So we'll see if that actually comes back and grows. Um, though, this is also my corn patch over here, which I've had to cover with some chicken wire because the geese are getting in here and munching down on all my corn. So it's doing a lot better now that I've protected it. All right, plum trees, we've got a nice plum yield this year. We've knocked them all back, and are taking all of those, and I'm gonna probably trim these up somewhat after a little bit. Over here's my butterfly garden. Things are coming together, growing nicely. Got a ton of butterflies. Another plum tree there. Over here, my um, stevia in the back, which was just recently transplanted. And then, of course, I've got my uh, lemongrass up here in the front. Got a little bit of green beans growing here. They didn't do too well, but this dirt has not been improved whatsoever in this front here. So they're trying, and hopefully I'll get a few beans, but primarily hopefully it'll do a little bit of enrichment for the soil. My pink guava, which I actually have fruit coming in on, which I'm very excited about. I got some there. Got them in various places. Those are the ones that are easiest to see. Like up in here, you can see one. You can see that well. So I got some guava coming in. We'll see how they do. Never grown guava before. But this tree did actually very well. We had a light freeze, but it did well in the freeze. Didn't die back hardly at all. Over here, my tomato patch. Well, part of my tomato patch. And this is my lettuce, just a regular uh, curly lettuce that I've let uh, head out. And it's uh, producing seeds slowly, but hopefully here soon it'll start dumping seeds and I can basically compost the rest. My early girl tomato has, just like an early girl should, put out some early tomatoes. Um, it's fixing to turn red, man, I'm so excited. 
We haven't had homegrown tomatoes. We didn't get nothing for tomatoes last year, hardly at all. Some zinnias I got growing. More tomatoes. Some of the uh, red Russian kale back in the back. So it's all doing fairly well. Over here is the rest of my tomatoes. Um, some are growing well and some are not. Um, but for the most part, they think they seem to be pretty healthy. But like for some reason, this little sweetie tomato here is still very small. I'm not sure why. I have to check in on that. But it's growing, so we're just going to see how it does. Of course, I've got some more carrots in the back, some more zinnias, some marigolds to hopefully keep the bugs off. All right, so over on this side, I got my pepper plants, which are coming in nice. You can see I got some buds there on the the, the new peppers, and I still got some peppers growing on last year's plants, which are doing pretty well, and some more hot peppers. Well, here's my strawberries, which are doing well. I've uh, gotten a ton of strawberries, though I've had a problem. Let me lift this up real quick. I had a problem with ants, with the little sugar ants on the strawberries. Let's see if I can pick them up. But the problem with the sugar ants is that they're eating at my strawberries. And you can see them right there crawling out of there. So I've put basically this here which is uh, some spearmint which is supposed to hopefully drive away the ants all right so then of course got more stevia there more stevia there uh, jalapeno plant back there my cabbage which is not done well um, I'm not, again not really sure it might be just lack of moisture or um, it is pretty well bug eaten so I'm thinking that may not be the place for it we're gonna <clears throat> try and figure something else out and then, of course, my walking onions, which are doing well. And then my peas have all died back. I've gotten a ton of seed from them. So I'm fixing to crunch them up, put them into the compost. Well, here I've got radishes that I've uh, allowed to go to uh, seed. So you can see all these little pods down here. That's where the radish seeds come from. So I'm going to hopefully get a bunch of seeds off of that. And then some more carrots. Some spinach, but just didn't, never really did any good. And then my uh, broccoli, which is done amazing. Got a lot of broccoli coming in. Taking two heads off so far, and there's another one right there that's fixing to come off. And then my cucumbers that are growing up over the trellis. Now these are the, the straight eight cucumbers, which I have yet to get a cucumber off of, but it is still early May, or I'm sorry, late May, almost into June. Uh, whereas the um, the National Pickling Cucumbers, I have gotten several off of. As a matter of fact, you can see there's one there and some more of them growing. Got another one back over here, which I'm fixing to pick any time now. And lots of blooms still, so we got a lot of hope yet. Just haven't got anything off the straight eight ones yet. As far as trees, all the trees are doing well. You can see on my quite I've got a lot of uh, blooms coming in here and there. Um, I think a lot of the problems I'm having right now is just the, the heat and the dryness. We have had no rain for like a month. Um, peach tree is still doing well. Got some marigolds coming up around it, and some lemon balm and some basil. And then uh, my uh, black cherry tree, which I got as a bare root, is doing well. Got this little daisy down there. And then over here, my pear tree, which I did use the, uh, the weights and the, the uh, string to basically get it to uh, go outward some, a bit more. And it's looking really good. It's holding the shape so far. Looking nice. My other peach tree, which is doing well. No peaches whatsoever this year. Not even one. Um, and then over here, this is a muscadine grape that has not done anything this year. I'm not sure what happened. You can see there's a lot of vine there. It's done pretty well last year, but nothing this year. And of course, my bananas from the ones that I showed you I transplanted. And then over here, there's some new grapes. That is a, um, oh man, purple grape. 
I'll come to it in a second. Here's some more grapes. They're doing well. This is a new one I added this year. So eventually I hope to have this all basically full of grape leaves during the summer, which will screen my pool. So that's pretty much what I got going on in my garden. As you can see, if you look at the grass, it's dying back. Even though I have a sprinkler system that does water it, it's just not enough. We've had 100 degree temperatures and no rain. All right, well, so that's my garden so far this year. Things are looking fairly good. Um, been a real challenge with the heat and the dryness. I've been using a lot of city water. I'm gonna have to look into getting a, a well pump or something of that nature um, to somehow eliminate that cost um, or some kind of a water capture system. But at any rate, that's what I got going on so far this year. Everything's still looking good. Uh, got lots of produce coming in and we've gotten a lot of produce so far. Plenty of greens and, and cucumbers. We've got tomatoes coming. so. We'll get back with you as we go along. I just wanted to give you an update and show you where my food forest stands so far. Oh, and thanks for stopping by.